This guide shows you how to update to the May 2020 Windows 10 update, which was released on the 28th of May 2020. Now, first of all, I've got to warn you, this update could cause problems with your PC. Um, at the time of recording, this is brand new, so uh, please make sure that you've backed up anything important and got details of any licenses just in case you need to reinstall Windows from scratch. Uh, unfortunately, Microsoft haven't had a good track record on reliable updates recently and some updates have caused problems. So if you don't have to update to it, then let it do it automatically when your system is ready. But if you're raring to go and you want to take a look at what's new in Windows 10 May 2020 update, update then like I say make sure that you've got a complete backup of your system anything really important to you and make sure that you've got license details to be able to re-download and reinstall um, any programs if the whole thing should go pear-shaped okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to open our browser so I'm going to open Google Chrome let's just double click on the icon on the desktop but like I say you can open the browser of your choice and then all we do is in the search box of Google we just type Windows 10 ISO so that's Windows space 10 space ISO then press enter or return on your keyboard You'll get some results come up here and we're looking for a result from Microsoft.com. So here's here it is here. So we just click download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. So click that. And there we go. We've got two options here. We can download the installation media tool or we can do the update directly. So just move your mouse over update now and left click once. Now close down your browser by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. Then click on the little yellow folder at the bottom of the screen. If you don't have a yellow folder there, click on the start button and then click on documents just here. Then move your mouse over downloads in the left hand side of the screen here and left click once. And then we need to find a file called Windows 10 Upgrade 9252. When you've found it, move your mouse over it, double left click. It will then say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Microsoft Windows and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, move your mouse over yes, left click once. Okay, so it says update to the latest version of Windows 10. One of the best features of Windows 10 is that it keeps getting better with every update. This PC is not currently running the latest and most secure version of Windows 10. This PC is running version 1909. The latest version is 2004 or 2004. We can help you get the latest security enhancements and feature improvements. Click update now to get started. So move your mouse over update now and left click once. Okay, so it says congratulations, this PC is compatible. So move your mouse over next and left click once. Now, this is gonna take a while, absolutely ages. It's gonna take hours probably to do this. So now's the time to walk away from it and go and do something else. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back to it at various stages through the update, just to uh, give you an update on what's happening. So the downloading part is nearly finished, but we're not finished by a long way just yet. So it's rolled over to 100%, but it's now verifying the download. So it's got to go back to 100 again. I'm going to pause this video while it does that. So the verifying is galloping along, but here we go. Now it's doing the updated part. So it's got to go up to 100% again, and this bit is going to take quite a while. So again, I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it nearing the end. Okay, so the update has finished installing on screen here. It got to 100% and now it's saying the update's ready. Your PC needs to restart to complete the update. So it says save your work, leave your PC plugged in and turned on. If you choose to restart later, we'll automatically restart the PC when you're not using it. The update usually takes 90 minutes or less to complete, but we'll let you know once it's finished. So like I say, this is still going to take a long time. I mean, just doing the update, just that, that part of the update just a minute ago took about an hour. So, uh, so it's going to take a while. So, OK, so I just move my mouse over restart now and left click on restart now. So it says you're about to be signed out. Windows 10 Update Assistant will reboot your device to complete the update. 
So uh, that should happen in a few moments time. Like I say, just leave it and uh, it will do it itself. And I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when we get to the next step of the update. So the computer is now showing restarting and there we go. So it says working on updates. Don't turn your PC off or don't turn off your PC. This will take a while and your PC will restart several times. So once again, just walk away from it, leave it. It's going to take some time. Just be patient with it and don't try and power off your PC or anything at this stage because you will corrupt it. OK, so I'm going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it a little bit later in the installation. Now, mine has jumped up to working on update 64%. The computer's just uh, rebooted one of the many reboots it said it's going to do. And there we go. It's just jumped up to working on update 78%. I've got to say, this seems to so far be going a lot quicker than some of the previous updates. Not the last one, the last update was very, very quick, but uh, this one does seem to be quicker than the previous updates. Okay, so the updates are nearly done, 98%. And there we go, 100%. And uh, we're just rebooting now. Slight visual difference I can see there on the, uh, on the boot screen. And we're getting the usual message of hi, we've got some updates for your PC. And the normal message that says this might take several minutes, don't turn off your PC. And we've got the message there that says these updates protect you in an online world and still don't turn off your PC. Telling us we're almost there. And now we've got some options to choose. Now it's entirely optional what you do here. But I would suggest perhaps using the bottom answer every time. That's what I tend to do. And uh, so don't use online speech recognition. Click accept. Don't let Microsoft apps use your location. Don't use find my device. Send only the basics. Uh, don't want to improve ink and typing. Don't want to get tailored experiences with diagnostic data. Don't want to let apps use the advertising ID. So here we go, it's now booting up. And here we are, we now get the message, thank you for updating to the latest version of Windows 10. So move your mouse over exit and left click once. And then move your mouse over the cross just up here to close this down. So the first thing I've noticed on mine is the taskbar at the bottom of the screen is completely transparent. And when I click the start button, as well the start menu is completely transparent now I can't see this being right because say if I go to power as you can see you can barely see anything on on the start menu there the other settings so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into settings and then I'm going to click personalization just there and then I'm going to click colors from the left hand side and I'm going to turn the transparency effects off and then click on the cross in the top right hand corner there and there we go that seems to have fixed the uh, start menu problem on mine like I say don't worry about that if you haven't got it on yours this particular problem um, just obviously seems to be an early on bug I mean like I say as I'm recording this video this was only released today this version of Windows 10 so there's bound to be a few little bugs inside it as always i would say once you've installed windows 10 the new version or an old version go into settings just here and then scroll down to update and security and then check for any updates so click check for updates and uh, it'll have a look see if there's any updates available there probably will be and then it'll download them and install them for you so there you go there's your guide to installing the may 2020 update of windows 10 i hope this guide helps and thanks for watching you can follow me on twitter at cw tech that's at cw tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.